All right, welcome to yet another episode of Dirty Math. My name is Matt, AKA your Dirty Math teacher. Transformation golf, rigid motion. There's a non-rigid motion one, but this one is the rigid motion version. Screen one, welcome. In this, I'm not gonna read it, you can read it for yourself, but the basic idea is you have a pre-image, which is where you're starting. Then you have the obstacle that you gotta get past. If you, if in your transformation you happen to hit the obstacle, it's gonna shatter your pre-image and kind of break the game. So uh, you have to go around the obstacle, unless you're doing a reflection, I think, um, or a rotation. But in any case, um, you wanna to get to where the final image is. That's the whole point of, um, of, of this golf game. It's not really a golf game. I don't know why they call it, call it golf. I guess you're kind of putting a shape into a predetermined hole. Maybe that's what makes it golf, but anyway. Screen two, challenge number one. Use one or more transformation. So it's the same thing as that screen one, except now we're, we're, we're really playing. There are three different types of transformations. I'm assuming that you kind of have an understanding of each one. If you don't have an understanding of them, I would encourage you, highly, highly encourage you to go to screen number 19. On this screen, you can kind of play around with the three different types of transformations to translate, rotate, and reflect uh, transformations if you so you can just kind of play around with this see what uh, a translate does um, you can see what a rotation does right uh, play with the angle count clockwise and counterclockwise um, you can you can see what also a reflection does uh, this is what we call our line of reflection um, and stuff like that so if you're not familiar with how these three types of transformations work, then I would highly encourage you to kind of play around with it on, on screen 19 before you move ahead. But back to screen two. Okay, so here we are back on screen two. Um, and so you can go ahead and and hopefully, you, like I said, you understand what these are, are like. I'm going to, in order to solve this one, if I, if I just happen to translate it again across um, this obstacle, it's gonna shatter the shape. So we don't wanna do that. But what we do want to do is go around it if we can. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to use a translate version. If you can think of a more, uh, you know, fancy version of using a rotation reflection to do this, more power to you. I'm just going to go ahead and use translate to, to solve this first one. So the easiest, uh, the, the, the basic idea is I'm going to take this point right here. So this bottom left hand corner of this L shape and I, I'm going to kind of track it to where I want it to be. So if I want this, let's say for example, to be up here before I translate it to the right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I want this corner to be right up here and then click on submit. And I think that happens to be eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And then I want this to move over a certain number of units over here now. So I'm gonna translate again. And I don't have to use the same corner. I can use a different corner. Uh, I can go from here and I want it to end up here. And that should be enough. And so success, and again, you can use the rotation or reflection transformations if you want. I just went ahead and used the easiest one. Why, why make it complicated, right? So I just use translation. Challenge number two, using one or more. So same idea, now you're just kind of going through the motions. I, I think that first one you are intended to use a, uh, a translation. Um, this one, you're gonna probably use a rotation. Now, how do you know? How can you tell if you're gonna be using a rotation or a reflection or a translation one? Well, you can kind of tell that this, let me say this. Um, yes, there, there is, you know, in your, in your math class, you might've talked about something called growth mindset, right? A lot of math teachers love to use that term, growth mindset, right? Teacher, students, growth mindset. But in real life, Unfortunately, not all people are created equal. Some people are better at some things than others. For example, Shaquille O'Neal will always be better than me at basketball. Why? Because he's a seven foot giant and I am not. Um, and so, yeah, unless he's like old and like crippled, then I'll be better at basketball than him, but, but not until then. But in any case, not all people are created equal. And I think the same is true <clears throat> In, in the mental capacities as well, some people have better 3D spatial reasoning. So if you don't understand it, I, I don't know, maybe practice a lot and, and you can definitely get, you can definitely increase your understanding of, of things like this. But some people understand it, some people don't. And, and it's okay, right? Because 
Um, if you're not, not everyone is meant to do math, right? I, I, I'm actually not a math major. I actually majored in, in history, believe it or not. And then I decided uh, when I wanted to become a, a teacher, I said, hey, why not? I, I've always been kind of pretty good at math. I'll just become a math teacher because it's a, it's a better, higher in demand job. Anyway, why am I talking about that? Um, 3D spatial reasoning. So uh, you kind of have to be able to take a look at this and understand that, okay, if this were to rotate around, right? This bottom part is now going to be the top, and as it goes around, it's going to it's going to end up here. And, and so naturally, you should kind of go to the rotation one because there's no way you can translate this and end up in this configuration, right? <clears throat> and even with the reflect, you can do reflections too. Actually, you can reflect it once and then reflect it again. And I think it'll it'll get to that shape. But um, you can do it with translate. You can do it with rotate. You can do it with reflection. But I think the easiest one and one step is to do a rotation. And and we don't want it just to be 90 degrees because if we do it 90 degrees, it'll end up somewhere up over here. We actually want it to go all the way around to the other side. So we're gonna change this angle to 180 degrees. And I think it's about in the center, right? It, it is about in the center, right? So how can you tell if it's in the center? Well, this corner right here this bottom right corner is going to be that corner right there relatively speaking to the shapes so if i go down two one two three four and i go down two again one two three four same slope right and it's right smack in the middle right that's that's our cent what we call our center of rotation so i'm gonna go ahead and click on submit and boom there you go and if you did it clockwise i think it would do the same thing 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise is the same thing so there we go in one one step, right? And you could have done a reflection as well, right? If you if you reflected, let me see how uh, we could have reflected there, submit, and then if we did a uh, another reflection, right in the middle. I think how, how far are these apart? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we go four, so I think that's about the center, right? If we do a reflection like that, we do the same thing in two steps, not one step. So <clears throat> you could have done a one step rotation or two step reflection. Screen three, settle the dispute. Anya claims that this challenge can be solved in a single rotation. Braden says it can be solved with a single reflection. Who is correct? Okay. All right, so uh, Anya and Braden both are neither. Okay. I, my gut feeling says that Braden is not correct. I don't think you can do a single reflection, right? There's no way you can reflect this thing, right? If, if you reflected it, even if you did 45 degrees, it, it would not end up in this configuration. So automatically, it's not Braden or both. It just doesn't strike me as a reflection, right? If you did it this way, if you did it horizontal or vertical, you can't do it with a single reflection. But I think Anya could be correct, right? Uh, especially if you, for example, let's see. What, what is the slope here? Um, let's see. How far? Is, so that bottom left-hand corner to that relative... Uh, corner right there is what one two three one two three four five six seven so those are odd numbers if you kind of let me see from that corner right here to that corner if you got right smack dab in the middle which is three and seven if you went down one and a half and then three and a half one two three and a half so so if you went right about here right if that were our center of rotation then then you presumably could do it in, in one step Okay, so I think the, the only choice here is, is Anya. Explain your thinking. Uh, you can you can write all that on your own. I'm, yeah. If you're new here, if this is the first time uh, watching a video from me doing a Desmos tutorial, I never write to explain your thinkings. You, uh, I'm doing enough heavy lifting for you. I, I'm assuming you can kind of type your stuff on your own. But if this is your second or third or multiple time watching my videos and you haven't liked or subscribed to my video, these are the YouTube gods telling you subscribe. subscribe. Screen five, describe your strategy. So all I'm doing is describing. Okay, so we have this humongous um, obstacle in the way. I'm gonna do a reflection first, I think. If I do a, oh man, if I do a reflection and then a rotation, I think that would work. So for example, how far apart are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if you go exactly seven and a half, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So if you were to make your line of reflection go from right here to right there, right? So that were your line of reflection. Um, oh man, wait a second. I think I counted it wrong, I'm sorry. 
So from here to here, so not seven and a half, it's gonna be, uh, what, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so it's just seven. So my line of reflection is right here to right here. Why? So again, uh, not again, why did, I, why did I change my mind? I, I just went too far, right? This is not the relative position of that side, right? We want to count it from here to here, this edge. So that was 14, so half of 14 is seven. So that's why we're right here, okay? So we, if we did that, you would end up with this shape being right over here, like this in this configuration, right? Oh, wait, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. It's a reflection. So um, you would end up with this looking like this. And then if you did a rotation with the center of a rotation, oops, right here, let me see, try that again. Center of rotation right in the middle, which is right here, right, and you did it in a, 180 degrees, you would end up in, in that same configuration. So um, go ahead and type all that if you want. I don't know how you're gonna do that, um, but good luck to you. Uh, oh, we're actually gonna try it. Okay, so let's try what I just said we should try. So it's gonna be, here's our, 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 set, our, our line of reflection. Boom, okay, and then what we're gonna do is rotate uh, with the center rotation right there, and we want it to go all the way around 180 degrees, 180 degrees, and it doesn't matter counterclockwise or clockwise when we're dealing with it 180 degrees. So, ah, I made a mistake. What mistake did I make? I underestimated what would happen uh, with just a rotation. We need to do. We need to reflect this one more time. So we're gonna reflect this um, like that and like that, and go ahead and click on submit. Boom, there you go, success. Now, let me also add one more comment to this. If you don't wanna hear it, just skip on ahead to the next screen. But um, I hope your math teacher makes mistakes in, in their classroom. I, I always do, and and sometimes I intentionally make mistakes. This was this one was unintentional, actually. I, I really did make a mistake. Um, but sometimes I will in make intentional mistakes because I want students to know it's okay to make mistakes because number one, that's how we learn, and number two, uh, I just kind of want to develop a classroom, um, I don't know, culture where it's okay to make mistakes. And, and that's that's perfectly fine because uh, nobody gets it right on the first try all the time. Don't be embarrassed, just keep trying is, is the point. Screen seven, challenge number four. Uh, wow, we got four different obstacles here. I think I can just get this if I let me see, do a reflection and a rotation. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a reflection, okay, perfect. Reflection right there, and then I think a rotation, hopefully I don't get this wrong. I think I got it right, 180 degrees. There we go, this time I did get it right. Uh, I didn't underestimate the number of transformations I would need to do. Screen number eight, settle a dispute. Why are they having disputes all the time? What's, what's wrong with these people? Anya and Braden perform the same transformations on the same pre-image, but in the reverse order. Okay. Uh, Anya translates, then rotate. So Anya is going to translate and then rotate. So it looks like they're, she's gonna translate one, two, three units and then rotate. So this is gonna go down here and rotate, how, you know, whichever way. Um, Braden claims that the resulting images will all be, because Braden rotates and then translates first. first. Uh, resulting uh, will always be the same. Anya disagrees, who is right? Okay, so let's make Anya blue. Um, so if she translates this down three units, right? One, two, three. Uh, it's going to be this shape, right? One, one, two, am I doing this right? Yeah, I am doing this right, sorry. Um, it's four units long. So it's gonna be, it's gonna start right here. One, two, three, four, one, two. So here's Anya's shape after one transformation and then a rotation. I'm assuming 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise. And let's, let's say that the center rotation is right here, right? If we do that, this, if the center rotation is right here, you're gonna end up with a shape kind of right here, like this, one, two, three, four, like that. So this is where the resulting shape is going to be. I'm gonna do a terrible job of, of coloring this, but I hope 
you get the point. Okay, so down three units and then uh, rotate it around this center rotation. Okay, and then let's take a look at, at Braden's, right? In fact, let me erase it. Let me erase this right here. So just so we don't get too confused. Um, and then Braden says that if he rotates and translates, it's gonna come out to be the same thing. Okay, let's rotate first and then translate. So if we rotate first uh, around this center of rotation, okay? Um, let me see, one, okay, so it's gonna look something like this and then translate down three units. One, two, three, okay. You actually do end up in the same place. You actually do end up in the same place. Um, but I think it's because I used the same center of rotation, or I, I used a different center of rotation. My gut feeling is that that's the case. So it really depends on where the center of rotation is. Let me try this again with a diff with, with the center of rotation that is listed here. Okay, so uh, erase all this. Let's try this again. Okay, so down three units. It's gonna bring this right here. Okay. Oops, let's make that, uh, okay, fine, Anya's red now. Um, and then here's the center of rotation right here. So this thing is one, two, one, two, three. So now it's gonna be one, two, one, wait, one, two, one, two, three, okay. One, two, one, two, three. So your sh resulting shape is going to be right here. Okay, so this is Anya's new shape, okay? With this center of rotation, not, not the one I, just kind of made up on my own. Okay, and then Brayden wants to rotate and then translate. Okay, so let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so um, Brayden's, just with the rotation, is going to look, end up right here, and then uh, he's gonna go down three units from here. One, two, three. So um, he's gonna end up right over here. Okay, so in this case, very different. Okay, so um, who's correct? Well, in this case, in this case, Anya's correct. Hopefully I didn't confuse you. If I did, you're watching a free video on YouTube, so I don't know. Uh, screen nine, describe your strategy. Describe, okay, so there are two obstacles here. So what are you gonna do? Um, I guess you could do it in two reflections, right? If you reflect it here, right? If you reflect it here, you're gonna, here's the middle, you're gonna end up with a shape kind of like right here, right? And then you can reflect it again, right? Across that line of reflection and you would actually end up in the same place, okay? Or you could just transform or translate it. Oh, it's not, it's not wide enough, right? You need it to be four units. You need to do a rotation or a reflection of some sort, right? I'm assuming you can ro rotate it as well. Uh, rotate, move, and then rotate it back. Or I think it's easiest just to do two reflections. So that's what I'm gonna do, two reflections, uh, line of reflection here first, okay? And then another line of reflection right here. And there you go. Screen 11, challenge number six. We, we can do a translation on this one. We're gonna have to reflect. We're gonna have to reflect and reflect again. Um, so let's try this. Reflect across this middle. Okay, submit. And then we're gonna reflect one more time right down the middle here. There you go. That was easy. Sometimes they throw an easy one in there. Okay, Anya completed this challenge by using three reflections. Which of these other sequence of transformations is possible? Um, three translations, okay. We could translate it, but if we translate it, it's not going to end up backwards like this. It's just not gonna change that. Okay, so not, it's not this first one. Two reflections, okay. So you probably could reflect it, and then uh, if you reflect it across here, it's gonna end up in this configuration. And then again, if we use the line of reflection like right, like right across here and reflect it again, it'll end up in that, in that place. So this is correct. Can you do it in two rotations? Um, rotate, ro so if we rotate it across the center of rotation right here, uh, you would end up with something in this configuration. And then you, I guess, no, 
you can't rotate it because even with a rotation you're never going to end up with this little bottom part pointing left i don't think that's possible or with it pointing left from the bottom at least it, it, you can get it to where it looks like this but yeah two rotations won't work a rotation followed by a reflection rotation followed by reflection that could work as well so you could have multiple answers i'm assuming um yeah so you you so the, the point is you need a reflection at least to do this so um i'm assuming there's two answers i, I might be wrong let me know in the answers if you think i'm wrong uh, we can have a discussion on that i love having discussions in classrooms anyways <clears throat> because like i said i might be wrong i could be wrong i, I i'm very much wrong a lot of times and so if a student were to kind of correct me I, I love it because i love those mathematical discussions so in fact i want them like i said i'll intentionally have make mistakes sometimes just to have a discussion so uh, okay you could just do a simple rotation right a rotation around here um let me see one two three four so right right in the middle right here it should be, um let me see no sorry what can you do? You could do a rotation. Uh, you could do a reflection and then translate. That's what I would do. I would uh, I would reflect here. So so if you do that, you end up with a shape that kind of looks like this, right? And then you just translate down however many units, one, four units. Okay, and you could do it multiple different ways too. So, uh, so what did I say? I, was, I said I was gonna rotate it or reflect it first. Reflect it like that. And then I'm going to translate down four units i want that bottom corner to be down there there you go screen 15 okay let's see oh wow okay so this one we kind of want it to let me see this one's a little bit more challenging i guess i want this to kind of be sideways like this like like right here first so i'm gonna rotate this thing i'm gonna rotate this thing can we do middle oh we can't do middle um I might have to do three, or can I do that? Maybe I can do that. Yeah, if I do that, it'll end up over here somewhere, right? So it's gonna end up over, over right here like this, I think. Let's try it. I might be wrong. Oh! It, it hit at the obstacle. So in this case, rotations will break it too. Hmm. How about I, what if I translate it first? I'll translate it first down one unit. Let's try that. I'll take that. Translate it down one unit, and then let's rotate this. Come on, rotate, there you go. Uh, and then I want to, oh man, this is, this is gonna be long, but who cares? I mean, as long as it works, right? And then reflect, right? Line of reflection, there you go. And there you go, four different transformations. If you let me know in the comments if you find a shorter, more elegant version, but this is mine. Um, what will never change in a sequence of transform, translations, reflections, rotations? What will never change from the pre-image to the image? Um, the length of the line segments. Yes, that will never change. Remember, this is a uh, this is a lesson on rigid motions. Uh, so, so what what is that? What what is what is rigid motion? What is non-rigid motion? Rigid mo all rigid motion means is that this shape will never change shape or size. Okay, so this side length will always be four units long. This bottom length will be always two units long, so on and so forth. So that's what rigid motion is. Non-rigid motion just kind of changes it. It dilates it, makes it bigger or smaller. But at least for this one, for rigid motion, it won't change the size or the shape. Okay, so lengths of the line segments is correct. The position of the object, you can change the position, right? I'm, that's what we've been doing this whole time, changing this position from one place to another. So that will uh, that will change. So we want the ones that don't change. So uh, we're not gonna click on that. The measure of the angles will never change because the shape doesn't change these angles inside. These 90 degree angles are not gonna change. So that's another one. The orientation of the object. Well, the orientation will change just like the position will change. So. Um, that's not correct. So uh, these two, the lengths and the measures are the only things that will change. Screen 17, which of these statements is true? Select all that apply. Any translation can be replaced by two reflections. Oh man, I wish they had a thing we can play around with, but uh, any translation. So if we translate it up, right, we, we could 
do a reflection and then uh, where it goes up and then, oh my God, I wish we could play around. So I'm gonna play around with this. Any translation can be replaced by two reflections. Okay, let's try this. Um, any translation, so if I wanna translate this, let's say up four units. Okay, and we, we end up here. We can do, and, and then let's say we were gonna go down to where this is. Let's try it. Two reflections, okay? Fine. Let's do this reflection. And then another reflection across that center. Okay, that'll work, yeah. Or no, no, sorry, this will be this one right like that. Yeah. Any translation can be uh, two reflections, okay. So that's true. Any translation can be replaced by two rotations. Oh, okay. Translation can be replaced by two rotations. Can we rotate this and then rotate it again? I don't know. Let me see. Um, how about if we rotate this where the center rotation is over here? I'm just trying this. Oh wait, let's go. Let's go clockwise. Rotation clockwise, clockwise, and then rotation right here counterclockwise. Ha ha! I guess you can. Okay. So let's go back. That'll work. Any rotation can be replaced by a reflection. Any rotation, so let me see. Um, any rotation, so if we rotate this, can be done by a reflection. No, by one reflection, no. Maybe two reflections, yeah. Multiple reflections, reflection this way. Um, yeah, but I think they wanted one reflection, right? By a reflection, so I'm gonna say no. Any reflection can be replaced by rotation followed by a translation. Okay, any reflection, let's see, reflection can be by a rotate, was it rotation and then translation? Rotation followed by a translation, okay. So, from here to here, I can, rotation, Rotation, let's, let's try this 180 degrees. And then a translate, okay, yeah, you're not gonna do that. A translation, it would it would not be in this orientation, right? Where where this is this bottom thing is pointing left, it's, it's not gonna do that. So, uh, just the first two, okay? Those are my answers. I might be wrong, let me know in the comments. Screen 18, challenge number nine, use one or more transformations, okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to reflect, okay, because the only way out of this thing, if I do a transition or rotation, it's gonna hit an obstacle and break. So the only thing I can really do is reflect this out of its, its barrier here. So let's do that first, okay? And then I want this to be over here. Aha, where's the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want this line of reflection to be exactly five units away. One, two, three, four, five. So right there. There's my line of reflection. This middle piece is gonna slot in right there. And then just translate it down. Translate it where this corner is gonna now end up at that corner, two units. And there you go. Thanks for making it to the end of this very long Desmos activity. If I helped you at all, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps my channel to get more eyeballs on it. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video if you need more help. Bye.